What, what's happening with Friend of the Devil? Is any yeah? Is it uh, seeming like it's kind of under control and just yeah? It just, just a little it mileage just, on it. Yeah, I just. I mean, I played it for like an hour straight on Saturday, and then on Sunday I played it for another half an hour straight. <laughs> okay. So are you sick of it yet, then? Yeah, my fingers are still sore, but yeah. um, no, I'm you know I'm kind of getting there. Closer to the frets, like here's okay. that. Deep. Now, now I know this. Uh, the guitar's going to be a little bit unfamiliar because it so it has a different string spacing than what you're used to too. So be, don't expect to like. I mean, don't be surprised if all of a sudden you put a finger down, it's on the wrong string. Gotcha. The strings are a little wider, further apart than than your guitar. Um, and when you so so in general, like right there, even when you went to that D chord, make sure you're up here and don't don't settle for back here. Okay. So, so that'd be a good thing to just kind of refresh just with everything you're doing. Fingers close to the frets because okay. I don't know if you could hear they were buzzing a little bit. Yeah. The, the tone wasn't great. And rather than squeeze harder, get closer to the frets. Okay. Okay. Um, the and you did a good job there getting to the D chord, like continuing smoothly into it. Continuing from the first time you get here to the to the beginning of it again is difficult and. What you have to remember to do, and I'm sure we talked about this when we um, you know, when we first visited this song, is when you put that first chord on, the first thing you have to hit is that, right? So you have to make sure that you that you you come out of this, yeah, and then worry about the other finger, yeah. Because see, then you have plenty of time to get your first finger down be just before you strum it, okay? Okay. And see, the natural tendency that was my hardest. That was the hardest part. For yeah, and so, so the natural tendency there is to put these fingers down in that order, okay? And that means you're always going to be waiting for this, mm. okay? So even just isolate that move and practice just hitting a G chord and then getting to that note and stop. Do that. So put a G on, hit the bass and strum and go get the... Yeah! That was too easy. Okay, do it again and then keep going. No, I mean, and with, uh, like, so after that, right, so then get your first finger. So again, from the same thing from a G. Nothing to it. Got it? That's how you connect them. And so a couple things about this. It's, it's it tends to use some slightly unusual chords because it was written by a piano player. So so some of the chords and something that's pretty common to do on the piano is change chords or, or use unusual bass notes for the chords. Now now I'm not just talking about this descending bass thing. Because did we ever play Mr. Bojangles? I believe we did. This is almost the same song. Oh. I knew Um, anyway, uh, but we also hear something unusual in the beginning, and that is we hear this little sequence here. We hear a C chord to an F chord, but keeping C in the bass, to a G chord, but keeping C in the bass, and back to F with C in the bass. And you might recognize this when I play it as, as something that you do here in the song, but this is not really, uh, guitar players don't do this kind of thing very often. 